Okay, and here is another episode of Real Talk where I get up close and personal with you and telling you what's been going on around the channel. What is up you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now, there are a few things to talk about at Real Talk today. Let's get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is the tripod or tutorial videos. Now, in my last Real Talk, I said I wanted to do a video about tripods but I've decided not to do it because tutorials on this channel doesn't really work very well. The demand isn't there at all. Doing tutorial videos is very hard, lots of planning involved and takes too much time. And if the demand for tutorial videos is not there, then I don't see the reason of putting up a tutorial video. Now I gotta be honest with you, the last couple of days, the recent last couple of days, there has been a little shortage of uploads. I know, I get that. Reason being number one, I wasn't feeling very well. I felt a little sick and I don't want to go into too much details because it's kind of disgusting that if I had to say that I go to the toilet every single now and then and yeah, let's leave it as that. But I think there was a part of me that was a little burned out as well. Um, burned out with putting up too much videos, too much vlogging, too much editing. And yes, it does happen. YouTubers do get burnt out. You guys know this. I was spending most of my day resting at home. I didn't go out much, I just stayed at home. And then I did that video, top three places to hike in Singapore, which you guys like it, and I didn't really go out. So yes, I didn't go out for that. And it was so great that I have a cinema at home that I just lay in bed to recover and watch a few movies. That's what I did, really. No, in all honesty, I was working. I did work. Doing a lot of back-end things like this green screen is one of them. You guys saw that. And I'm proud to say that I have finally, finally, finally completed the merch. Yes, my last video, I talk about merchandising. I said that I will do it. And yes, I finally put my foot on the pedal. And yes, it is done. It is completed. So here, I present to you the t-shirt and the hoodie. There is a mug as well. Now this would be the first ever release on this channel, version 1. So I've been busy completing the design, setting up the store and the account for Teespring and oh, there was a lot to do. Now in the future, if these t-shirts are doing well, then maybe we'll make different versions of it. So let me go into the design. I've decided to have something very stylish and just plain. And not having like a big picture in front of you or at the back, it is just a simple logo at the front and then a living like liner text at the back. Something which you guys would feel comfortable and yet stylish wearing it around. I do not have the sample with me right now. However, I've already placed my order and I'm waiting for the orders to come. And as soon as the order are here, you would be seeing me wearing it in the vlogs. So yes, I'm proud. I'm proud that I finally have my own merchandise and my store. So if you guys want to join me to be the first few to have version 1, then I'll leave the link in the description below. Go check it out. That is my first ever store. And yeah, enjoy my merch, guys. And now, it's time for the questions and answers in real talk. Naming my cars, board and scooter. Yes, I did do a vlog when I named my car Blackie. And yes, I did do a vlog about it, about naming Freddy and Frankie, the board and the scooter. How I decided this name, it was easy. It was Vic. Vic was always there and she always decides the name and I kind of tweaked and modified it a bit. Like for example, my board was Frankenstein and I decided to call it Frankie. I believe it's a new subscriber who asked this question. But for those of you who want to know me more, just go back and watch all the old vlogs and you'll be up to date, like my longtime subscribers. And my past vlogs are pretty good as well. They're not terrible. Well, season one was terrible. Alright, so finding places for night adventure. I get asked the question a lot, how do we find places for night adventure? And to tell you honestly, it's not easy because Firstly, we want to do things legally. And of course, there are times where we go somewhere and we thought it was like the perfect place for a night adventure. And then we come across and see a sign that says no trespassing or any trespassing will be prosecuted. So then we had to call off the vlog. It is not easy finding places for night adventure, to be honest. I mean, a lot of you guys have actually commented like, why not do Old Changi Hospital? Over there, it's all fenced up. And if there's any way to do any filming there, we have to climb over the fence and we don't do that because that's illegal. So we have to find places to do night adventure. Most of the time, it is places that are still developing and the development is incomplete, like the park connectors. A lot of the park connectors are still developing. That means there's no street lights at the moment, so we can do our night adventure there. Honestly, it is tough to find places for night adventure. I, I don't deny that, it's not easy. So we really got to do a lot of homework. And next, I want to thank all you guys all the beautiful birthday wishes that you guys have been saying on the comment section or messages. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I mean, there's so many of you guys and all I can say is that I love you. 
3,000. Yes, I love you all, 3,000. I'm not sure if I made it clear or not, but a couple of you guys are asking me, who are we missing in the Treasure Bay video? We are missing Vic, and Vic was supposed to come to Treasure Bay with us. In fact, she even bought her ferry ticket. But the night before, she called me, and she said that she was having a fever, she wasn't feeling too good, and it was quite bad. That's the reason why she didn't turn up. So, she was on medical leave on that day. By the way, it's been some time, and she's better already. She will, however, take me out for dinner or a movie. I'm not too sure yet, but uh, it will be another late birthday celebration from Vic. As always, like last year. That's Vic for you. <laughs> oh, this is funny. What happened to the pizza guy? The pizza guy from the night adventure that I did with Rob. And Rob kept mentioning about, I ordered pizza and stuff. Yeah, the pizza guy didn't show up at all. <laughs> However, what I can say is that Rob took me out. Well, actually, it was I took Rob out, but he bought me dinner and we had a nice steak dinner the next day. It was nice to sit down and catch up and talk with Rob and have a beer. <laughs> okay, so last question. Sim Lim Square are overcharging foreigners and they should be careful. In a way, I would say true. But in another way, I would think that you guys tourists and foreigners who visit any country, you would be cautious about stuff like that. It's not like it doesn't happen in anywhere in the world. It happens in mostly a lot of Asian countries. Um, if you go to Thailand, if you go to Indonesia, Malaysia, whenever they see a foreigner that is not a local, they will tend to jack up the price. It is true, it happens everywhere. So I would say that you should know your prices and you guys should know how much you're willing to pay for something that you want. And then if the price is just overboard, then just say thank you and then move on to the next store because there's always another store. And I'm pretty sure for those of you who travel a lot, you guys are street smart about this. In Sim Lim Square or in Sim Lim Tower, those are the places where you can get computer parts and electronic accessories and stuff like that. Those small little stuff that you can't find it outside. Like my adapter, for example. Even Challenger don't have the correct size of adapter that I need. So that's why I had to go all the way to Sim Lim Square. I think you guys can agree with me Sometimes, things in Challenger are a lot more expensive than in Sim Lim Square. But the reason we buy in Challenger is because it's more convenient. There is a Challenger in Jurong, there is a Challenger in Vivo City. So you don't have to travel all the way to Sim Lim Square, which is really far, just to get something. Okay, so that's pretty much the question I will answer for this real talk. And now it's the fun part. Now is the part where I ask you a question and I would like to get your feedback. So leave your comment and feedback down below. Five videos a week, I've done it for two months. I started at the end of March, the whole month of April, and now it's coming to the end of May. Even for my subscribers, it is hard for you guys to keep up with five videos a week from me. Because most of the time, the videos that I put up, I wait till the end of the week to see that all these views of these videos are increasing. I realize that most of you guys are watching the videos during the weekends. So imagine for people who only watches YouTube once a week, you guys would be flooded with five videos at the end of the weekend. <laughs> So I'm thinking instead of five, let's take a step down and put it four a week. And I think that would probably be a good gauge. In that way, I don't feel so burned out as well and you guys don't feel so overwhelmed with videos. So let me know what you think about that. I'm pretty sure four videos a week is okay with you guys, right? And then the second question would be the merchandise. What do you think about the hoodie and the t-shirt? Give me your honest comment down below. Let me know if it's something that you would buy it or if you would skip it. And then the final question would be mostly for the Singaporeans. Let me know if there's any place in Singapore that is dark, that is legal to do night adventure. One of you guys said Ulu Sembawang. Uh, park connector. Apparently it is supposed to be very really dark there or something. I haven't checked it out yet. I have to do a research. But yes, I do read the comments. I do take note about the places that you guys recommend. So leave your suggestions down below and I will read. I'll read them. The last section of Real Talk are the updates. And some of these videos have already been done so I know what's gonna come up. There will be a night adventure coming up. There will be a movie review as well. There will be a birthday celebration with Vic, I hope. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that but Fingers crossed. There will be a video about Frankie and Freddy and there will be a product review. One that I'm really, really excited about to share with you guys. This product is something which I've been waiting for for a while. This product that I have is going to be something that is going to improve my filming in future vlogs. And I'm really excited about it. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. See ya! Ooh, I'm so excited after today's vlog. I'm really excited in this vlog because I've got my own store. Finally, I got my own store. I'm very excited to do a product review. I'm also happy that there's gonna be a birthday celebration for me, even though it's late, but yeah. I, I still get another birthday celebration. It's good. 
and I got my own merch. Honestly, it's amazing to have your own t-shirt and hoodie. I'm just excited and I can't wait to see them. Go check out my store. It's in the description below.